Hello students, welcome back to Mature Technologies video. I am your English teacher Tanuja Sharma and today we are going to start with a very very important chapter of grammar. Chapter number 8 tenses. Now children, tenses holds a very important place in English grammar or any grammar you can say why it holds a very important place there are two important chapters that is sentences and the second one is tenses these two chapter are really very important sentences they are important to understand as in this chapter you learn how to frame sentences what are the different kinds of sentences right in tenses, you understand the correct use of speaking the sentences. How to, you know, how to speak a correct sentence. How to use the, uh, how to use the verb, the time in a correct form to speak or to write a correct sentence. If you learn sentences and don't learn tenses, then you cannot frame correct sentences. If you just learn tenses and do not learn sentences, then also you will not be able to understand, uh, then also you will not be able to speak or write correct sentences. So you can say that these chapters, both these chapter are dependent on each other. All right. Now students, before talking about you know before talking about uh, tenses and you know uh, what are the different kinds of tenses and all that we must learn you know uh, we must learn what is a tense and what is not a tense we have heard many times we have heard that tense is time Tense is time, but I am sorry to say this is not the case. If tense could be the time, then we must have said many times, what is the tense in your watch? Do we say that? We simply say that what is the, what is the time in your watch, right? It is a comedy thing, it is uh, humorous to say the tense is time. No, tense is not time at all. It is not time. It is not a time. Fine. Yes, but tense is very, very much dependent on time. In tense, we talk about time, but tense is not time. You can say that tense is a form of verb or you can say tense states the form of verb states the form of verb and the state of action the state of action this could be the correct definition of tense. How? Tense tells you the form of verb, states the forms of verb and it tells you the state of action. In short, it tells you about the when the action was done, form of verb, which form of verb we are doing. Now children, there are three forms of verb before uh, you know before uh, understanding a lot about a tense let us focus on this form of verb what is a form of verb
Now, as I told you, tense is not a time. Tense is not time at all. But we know that time is divided into, we can divide the time into three part. The first part is the present part, which we are doing right now, which we are living right now. So, time is divided into three parts. The first in the middle, you can, you will always keep present, present on the, you know, right side, you can say on the right side or your, your left side, it's past, the time which has gone, the time which has gone is past, the time which is right now is present, the time that will come is future. The tense is divided on this time. Fine, in these time we divide the tense. Alright, now forms of verb are also divided like this. I tell you how and I will tell you few words also so that you can understand and when we will understand the various forms of tenses, you will be able to understand at that time also that okay fine this when you know when I will tell you the rules and regulations for present tense, simple tense, then you will understand the, the importance of knowing the forms of verb. So, we were talking about forms of verb. Children, forms of verb is divided into three parts. The first part is present. The second part is past. And the third part is past participle. Or we can say that this is the first form of verb, this is the second form of verb and this is the third form of verb. Alright, first form, second form and third form of verb. Now I will tell you few, I will give you few examples from which you can come to know that how we change the form of verb. For example, beg, bag, bagged, bagged. First form, second form, third form. Then, choose Chose, choose, chose, chosen. Take, took, taken. Understanding? Let us write few more examples for this. Keep kept kept. Keep kept kept. Then you can say uh, stop, stopped, stopped. Stop, stopped. Stopped. Then let us write no new known, no new known.
fell or fall fell fallen then you can say uh, fit fitted fitted fit fitted fitted now for this word read the spelling remains same but the pronunciation of the word changes read 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 pronunciation changes understand pronunciation changes then b i am here also i am dividing the forms of verb first form second form third form all right b was were and been remember this verb third form is used in uh perfect tenses verb second form is used in simple past tenses verb first form is used in simple present and simple future tenses all right so remember where to use this all right verb first form is used in simple present or simple future verb second form is used in simple past and verb third form is used in all the perfect tenses all the perfect tenses simple uh, present perfect tense past perfect tense future perfect tense all right then let us do few more words break broke broken break broke broken then you can say uh, do did done do did done then dry dried dried dry dried dried then uh come came come come came come then you can say uh draw drew drawn draw drew drawn i hope you have understood various forms of verb how to change the form of verb this is an important thing to understand in tenses while changing the tense we have to change the form of the verb how tense tells you how the verb has been used now children there are few more words whose form of verb doesn't change which verbs they are for example cut 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 put 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 shut 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 these are the few examples whose form of verb doesn't change they remains the same 
their first form is also same, their second form is also same, their third form is also same, their pronunciation all remains also same, they does not change. So, I hope you have understood what are forms of verb. By, by seeing the form of verb only, we can come to know which tense is being used over here. So, remember, remember the th there are three forms of verb, verb first form that is present, verb second form that is past and verb third form that is past participle. Verb first form is used in simple present and simple future. Verb second form is used in simple past and verb third form is used in pres uh, you know all the perfect tenses. Now, I when I was telling you what are tenses, I also told you that tenses also tells about the state of action, the state of action. So, let us see what is state of action. I told you children that you know time is divided into three parts. I told you about that. So, let us, I will just draw a table in front of you and let us understand that thing, alright. How, you know, how tense tells about the state of action. Now, state of action tells you how the action has been, how much the action has been complete. The tenses depends so much on state of action. How? You know, when we see something, you know, when you see something from your eyes, like if you are looking at me, you are looking the front side of me. That, that means you are looking the one aspect of me, one side of me. You cannot look at my back, you cannot look my back side, you cannot look my back aspect. So, tenses, in tenses what do we learn? We learn to look around all the aspects of the action. This is what we are going to learn in tenses. How? Children, just understand. Tenses depend upon action and its state. State of action. Now, complete. See how I am dividing it. You know, when I say that some action has been completed, what is the, uh, uh, how is the action? Action is complete. Action is complete. When the action is complete, we can say that the work is perfect. Right? If you have done something that, mean, that means the work is perfect. If the work is perfect that means which tenses we are going to use? What is the state of tense? The state of tense is perfect tense. Perfect tense. And how many time are there? I told you about something. How many time uh, we have divided time into three parts? So, what are the three parts? Present perfect, present perfect, past perfect. and future perfect. Clear? So, when the action, when, when by reading a sentence, if we come to know that the action is complete, that the action is complete, 
then we can say we are using perfect tense. All right. And in perfect tense, which form of verb we are going to use? Verb in third form. I already told you that. Now come to second action. When the action is incomplete. When the action is incomplete. You know, children, when the when we say that the action is incomplete in the state in that state when we are doing some work in con continuously we are doing some work fine like if i say i am teaching i am teaching and you are listening so we can say the action is not complete the work has not been completed yet it is incomplete right as i am still doing this work the work is still in continuation when the work is in continuation the action remains incomplete in such case which tenses we used we use continuous tense continuous tense and again it is divided into three parts present continuous past continuous future continuous tense all right so when we, when the action is incomplete by reading a sentence if you say the action is incomplete that means we are using continuous tense and in continuous tense how we use the verb verb first form plus ing all right then when we say that the action is partially complete and partially incomplete partially complete and partially incomplete that means we are using indefinite time oh you know when partially com sorry partially complete and partially incomplete that means we uh, uh, we can say that partially complete that means the work has been when it has been started we know that for example if i say i have been teaching you since 30 minutes since 30 minutes that means the task of 30 minutes is in, is complete and when it will fully completed that we don't know that means we are using perfect continuous tense what we are using perfect continuous tense got my point when i say that you know i have been teaching english since 8 years that means the work of 8 years is incomplete but when it is going to com fully complete uh, get fully completed that i don't know all right that means we are using perfect continuous tense this is divided again into three parts present perfect continuous past perfect continuous and 
future perfect continuous. All right. Now, the last action is indefinite action, indefinite. And what do you mean by indefinite? That means you do not know when the task started, you do not know when the task completed or you do not know if the task is completed or not. In indefinite, we just talk about the facts, the schedules, the routines. That means, the works is done daily, gets completed daily, when gets completed, when gets started, that we do not know. We are talking about indefinite time, indefinite action, indefinite time we are talking about. In such case, we use simple tenses, simple tenses and again simple tenses are divided into three parts, simple present, simple past, and simple future. So, I hope today you understood how many tenses we are going to learn in the upcoming sessions. We are going to learn about 12 different tenses. First, simple present, simple past, simple future. Then, the task is completed, partially complete, partially incomplete, present perfect, continuous, past perfect, continuous, future perfect, continuous, then present continuous, past continuous, future continuous, then present perfect, past perfect and future perfect. Remember, task is complete, perfect, task is incomplete, continuous, partially complete, partially incomplete, then present continuous, perfect, uh, perfect continuous tense and then indefinite time we are talking about present simple tenses. I hope you liked today's video and I hope you understood a tenses a bit more. Remember the forms of verb we have done in this chapter, in this session as it will be, it will be, you know, it will be a useful thing while studying the different different tenses and understanding their uh, syntax or formula. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you and have a nice day.